Are clinical trials suitable for me? Mrs. Leung developed a chronic disease several years ago. She has tried some treatments over the years, but none of them worked very well. She heard from members of the support group that a new drug being developed seemed to work for her condition. It causes less side effects and is more effective. However, this drug is still being developed, and only patients who are deemed clinically suitable and have signed up to participate in the clinical trial can use it. Mrs. Leung wonders if she should give it a try. Mrs. Leung consults with her primary care physician, Dr. Chan, who shares with her that the potential benefits of participating in a clinical trial may include her trial treatment would be fully covered, her condition would be monitored closely by the research doctor, and most importantly, her participation could make a valuable contribution to clinical research. That sounds great, but Mrs. Leung still has concerns about the safety of the treatment. Dr. Chan assures her that most drugs used during the clinical trial have undergone many rounds of testing. Therefore, all side effects that are reasonably foreseeable will be made known to her. If there are any extremely severe adverse reactions, the drugs will not be used in clinical trials. However, different people will react differently to the same drug, so she may experience some previously unknown risks or side effects. Even if the treatment works for others, the possibility of it being ineffective for her also exists. Mrs. Leung is worried and asks what she can do if she feels uncomfortable during the trial. Dr. Chan explains that she has the right to terminate her participation in the trial at any time. During the trial, she will be made aware of all the known risks, new risks and side effects. There is also an independent ethics committee to ensure that the rights, welfare and safety of all patients are protected during the clinical trial. Therefore, Mrs. Leung does not need to be worried. It is important to consider the options carefully before making a decision, as what Mrs. Leung did. Dr. Chan decides to refer Mrs. Leung to see the doctor in charge of the clinical trial. If you are interested to know what clinical trials are available for you, speak with your primary care physician now or contact our research team, SGH Clinical Trials and Research Center at 6321-3652 or scan the QR code to visit our website.